Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today I've got a Moto G6 Play, the latest from the G6 family and probably the most entry level from the G6 family because the phone starts at £129 where the G6 Plus is £229. So yeah, there are some caveats and there, there is a difference in pricing which I'll um, explain to you in a second but yeah that's the phone you do get the case in the box which i will cover um in a second but overall yeah that's a transparent gel case uh, which is supplied in every phone in europe not sure about different markets and especially considering that in usa you don't get a snapdragon 430 but you get a 427 and you don't get the adreno 505 but 308 gpu that might be a different case now in the box you do get a sim tray opening tool you do get the readme which is a quick start guide in five languages being a british english uh, german spanish and french so four languages and um, covered in the booklet uh, which is always a nice addition but i think that it would be better if we could save some paper and just pre-install the manual on the phone itself Safety guide, so basically what you can and what you can't do with the phone. A charger, it's not, yeah, it is actually a fast charger uh, that is supplied in the box. And considering that the phone does have a micro USB port and 4000 mAh battery, that is a must. Wow, micro USB in 2018 interesting well but they do have to get that 129 price somehow so it's not a big thing in my opinion now do consider that the phone is made of plastic um abs plastic abs plastic but yeah you do get a headphone jack on top which is always a nice addition you do get a sim tray which actually doubles up as a memory card tray as well and on some markets unfortunately not in europe you do get a dual sim variant now this is not a dual sim unfortunately but like i do said on some markets you do get a dual sim variant plus the memory card so it doesn't take the memory card spoke 30 megapixel camera on the back a fingerprint sensor with a motorola logo and an led flash um, so overall nice um, especially that it's a 5.7 inch display ips lcd but it feels very nice in hand and i know it's a glossy plastic which will works as like a fingerprint magnet and the dreaded micro um, usb port on the bottom plus the bottom firing speaker but overall it's a really nice phone considering the price it feels really really nice um, and the bezels are quite slim so it's quite comfortable to hold in your hand. Now that's the gel case, a rubberized ca transparent case that you do get in the box. The good thing is that one, it comes in the box, so you're saving money. Two, the edges are raised, which means that if you leave the phone on the table, um, it won't uh, scratch the screen. You won't scratch the screen as much. So let's focus on the phone itself. Uh, let's have a look at what we've got in here. And we've got Android 8.0. So to be honest, guys, I prefer 8.0 as opposed to a micro USB charging port. So kudos goes to Motorola or actually Lenovo for supplying that. Then we've got the security bits, which means that you can um, lock the phone with a pattern pin or fingerprint sensor. Now the fingerprint sensor doubles up as an additional um, option for you, which I'll cover in a second. So it does not only allows you to unlock the phone, but it also allows you to do something else with the phone. Uh, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, which is very generous considering you can um, expand the memory up to 256 gigs. And you do get the Dolby Audio um, equalizer enhancer. So again, considering the price of the phone, it is really nice that Lenovo, Motorola are supplying us with features like this. So you can set the phone with a special preset for like music or movies or gaming, or you can manually using the graphic equalizer adjust the settings to your liking, which I do like. 
to be honest, because it's better to have something than not to have it. And considering Motorola handsets are usually quite skinned in terms of like bloatware or anything like that, it's a very nice addition. 4000 mAh battery and the 5.7 display. Now, what's brilliant about it, you can adjust it to, again, your liking. So it's not an AMOLED, but if you prefer the warmer colors or you want them to be more vibrant, you can adjust the setting in here which again is always a nice addition that you can customize and personalize phone more to your uh, liking. Apart from that, we've covered the battery bit. You do get the standard saving modes as well and you do get the adaptive brightness. If you want to change it, you can set a battery percentage to show next to the battery icon and then the standard apps and notifications so you can block certain apps from notifying you um, about events you don't want to be notified about. Then in terms of connected devices, obviously you do get a Bluetooth and you can also cast uh, from the device. So that's always nice considering the price of the handset now. It is an entry level price for the Moto G6 family, but you do get quite a lot. So. That's Moto Connect, uh, which usually means you get additional features with the phones. So you get the night shift mode, which re removes the blue hue from the display and makes your eyes feel less strained. And then that's the additional feature of the fingerprint sensor, allows you to log into a website using your fingerprint. Then you do get the standard Motorola gesture, so if you twist your um, uh, uh, um, hands, you can access the camera quickly. If you swipe with three fingers, you can grab a screenshot. So it's nice that even though Lenovo has bought Motorola, you still get the fancy Motorola settings. And then you've got the Moto Display, which uh, also has, which is called Attentive Display. So what happens here is that if you stop looking at the display, uh, the display goes blank. If you keep looking, it stays awake. Um, always a nice addition. I think it was first introduced by Samsung Galaxy S4 back in the 2013. So it's nice that it's still alive. So you do get the FM radio. Uh, you don't get the headphones in the box, unfortunately, because they do work as an antenna. But you do get an FM radio, which is, to be honest, quite a forgotten feature nowadays. Apart from that, standard Motorola settings, uh, which is pretty clear, pretty understandable. So if you want to take pictures in or using 13 megapixels, you don't have to leave with 4 by 3 ratio. And then if you want 16 by 9, then you're looking at the um, 10.7 megapixel, megapixel camera. In terms of recording videos or taking uh, manual shots, you do actually have access to manual ISO up to 3200. You do get the access to manual white balance lock or um, exposure, which is always a nice addition in terms of uh, camera. Now, in terms of recording videos, unfortunately, you would have to use apps like Open Camera to set the exposure uh, manually or lock it. And then, yeah, I did cover the video camera. It's a pretty decent phone, considering it records in 1080p and it can actually play videos in 1080p. It's always nice. You don't get the optical image stabilization, but you do get it electronically stabilized. So it's better to have that than nothing else. To be honest, really in love with the phone, very loud speaker, massive battery, really nice display, free case, what's not to like. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!